Hi, I'm David Hughes, Chief Executive of NIACE. I want to tell you a bit about how the relationship with inclusion is developing. You'll know that we had announced a strategic alliance with inclusion back in January and we've been working very closely with them since then. Um, this week, even more excitingly, we announced the intention for the two organisations to formally merge and in a sense create a new organisation starting in January 2016. So we've got about five, six months now to develop what that new organisation is all about. And what we want to do is to engage with our members, our stakeholders, our supporters, our funders, people who want to be part of a new organisation and really reassure people that the essence of both organisations is going to remain. You know, inclusion and NIAS both have a fantastic heritage and backstory. Both of us have done fantastic pieces of work which have influenced policy, helped deliver better outcomes for people and for their employers and for communities and for the economy. And we're going to still do that. But what we want from this merger is to be able to do a lot more because the whole agenda of uh, the country, all the way from George Osborne, all the way through the devolved nations, down to the devolved cities and areas and regions, down to local authority level and community level, is how do you give support to people to help them get on in life and, on, and in work? We think that requires support from employment support providers, work programme providers, local authority, third sector bodies, skills providers like colleges and universities and so on. So coming together, we think we can offer a fantastic level of support to all of those organisations to get the policy right, to join up employment skills, health and other support services so that every citizen, every person in our country really can get on and maximise their talent and realise their ambitions. And for most people that means a job and for most people we want them to get a good job with the, the prospects to get better pay and to progress. So we're really excited about it. We want to talk to you. We want you to help us form this new organisation and think about what its priorities are and what we should do to support all of those organisations, get it right for a better Britain. Thank you.